All right, so you caught me in the kitchen. I'm gonna make some cookies today. And actually, I'm kind of famous for these cookies. Everyone loves these. Whenever we go anywhere, they like me to make them. And this is gonna be a much healthier alternative to making a cookie, and it tastes fabulous. So, come on over. These are pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. I'm gonna show you the ingredients first. I melted a little coconut oil, some um, extra virgin coconut oil. So I'm gonna do coconut oil, and I really like this Enjoy Life chocolate chips because they are dairy, nut, and soy free, and I don't want any soy lecithin in my chips. So I like that brand. I'm gonna put baking soda. I'm gonna have some Ceylon cinnamon. I did a video on that, we'll link that above. I'm gonna do some yogurt, some plain yogurt, and some oats, and some pumpkin. And for my sweetener, I'm gonna do coconut sugar. And then I'm using some flour, and when you guys are getting your flour, make sure that your flour is unbleached and unbromated. There are so many flours out there right now that you can get that don't have any bleach in them, and they're unbromated, and check for GMO free, all right? So make sure you're getting a good flour. So one, three cups of flour, about a cup of coconut sugar. I'm gonna put organic pumpkin, or it's probably like a couple, couple cupfuls. My baking soda. I'm just gonna put a couple pinches in there. Okay, about a cup of oats or so. I'm gonna put the whole bag in there because our son is coming to visit and he loves these and so I'm making these special for him. Don't tell Doug. <laughs> and then I'll mix this up. Coconut, coconut oil, about a cup of coconut oil in there. Yogurt. I might put half a cup or so in there. Put about a teaspoon of cinnamon in there. Like a half a teaspoon of salt or so in there. Good real salt, Redmond real salt or pink Himalayan sea salt are great choices because they're unrefined. And I'm going to add an egg to this too. Nice farm fresh egg. I mixed it all up and now it's ready. I'm just going to put it on my pan. I'm just going to drop them in there and get ready. Now we have a wood burning cook stove from Layman's, not an electric, and um, I'm going to put them in there. So I have my wood burning stove set at about 350. So if you have a regular oven, that's where you're going to have it set also. And then I'm just going to put them in there and I'm going to let them bake. And I'm going to watch them and I'm going to check them after about 15 minutes to see where they're at. I checked the cookies after 15 minutes and so I left them in about five more minutes, so about 20 minutes. But you know, depending on the weather conditions, what's going on, you know, how much you're putting in, like if you're putting your yogurt and all that, I just always check it. And you want to, when you touch them, you want them just to be not really moist. You just want them to have kind of like a cakey feel. And I let them cool for a few minutes. Just take them off like this. Oh, look at them. They're real moist inside. They're awesome. I love them. It's a definite favorite on our house, in our house here. So as they say, bon appetit, you may eat. Try these, these are amazing, amazing public pumpkin, pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Give them a try. Um, as always, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Mmm, they are amazing. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.